Hello Floss Tube. I am Lisa and this is my channel Cross by Floss and I discovered two new hobbies this week. This is a channel about cross stitching but it is also about buying and kitting up the two new hobbies that I have discovered or not really discovered but are now claiming as hobbies because I feel like buying is a hobby and then kitting it up is also a hobby, right? Because yeah, and then actually doing the cross stitch, also a hobby. So I'm going with it's three hobbies. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. So this week, I have a lot to talk about you guys. It's been two weeks since I was last on Floss Tube with a video. I have been binge watching. I found stitchy people. I am so happy. So I live in the Pacific Northwest in uh, Washington State. And I have been looking for stitchy friends for oh so very long. And um, none of my friends stitch. And um, I'm not sure how I came across this floss tube channel it might have been like a suggestion or it went to the next you know when you're going down a list and it just popped up well lo and behold this lovely lady named Erin who is two martini stitcher yeah two martini stitcher hilarious she said something about a meetup in Renton and I'm like hold up and so I messaged her, well, I made a comment in her, um, on her channel, on, on, you know, one of her, her, um, episodes. And I was like, oh my gosh, you are in. And she's like, well, actually I live here, but yes, we do have this meetup. And I'm like, ah, so I sent her an email and I was like, oh my gosh. And, um, and then I connected with another lovely lady named who has a floss tube, who is also called Lady Robin S. And I'm going to link everyone I talk about today down in the description below. And holy goodness night. I don't know how I've missed these lovely ladies, but I am so excited because, um, Honestly, I've been looking for some crafty friends for quite some time who are interested in cross stitching and none of my friends are. And I did go to a group before, but um, to say that I was by far the youngest was, and that's not really saying much, was really, and, and you know, I work and, and they're all retired. And so it's just a very different, um, it was just kind of a different atmosphere and what they were stitching are, are not the things that I um, stitch. And so there just wasn't the click. But after watching these two ladies floss tubes, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So um, I get to meet them, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend. And unfortunately, they did it over Seahawk Sunday, but it's okay because I'm going to stream it. It's okay. I hope I can stream it. Fingers crossed because I'm a huge Seahawks fan. Anyway, so that happened and then I also signed up for the um, Heaven and Earth Designs Convention for next year. So I signed up for that. Super excited about that. And um, it's going to be my first convention, stitching convention. So I'm really, really excited about that. And yeah, so let's talk cross stitch. I have I have some whips. I have a finish, I, which I'm so excited about, you guys. And then um, I have some new haul. Um, yeah, and then I also have a giveaway. So stay tuned till the end. I know I'm gonna ramble. I have a lot of babbling. And, um, but yeah, so let's get into, um, let's get into my whips. Okay. So I started, let's see here in my, isn't this a pretty project bag? <laughs> I love this project bag back when I, you know, first started, um, my floss tube channel, like a year over a year ago, and it was named something different. It's on a completely different channel now. 
and the videos that I had. And, um, you know, I followed a lot of floss tubers back then too. And, uh, one of them had done, had this really beautiful project bag. And I was like, ew, where's that from? And it was, she is called Jan's Stitching Necessities, I think. And, um, you buy your fabric, you send it to her, and then she makes the, um, project bags for you. And, um, I, again, huge Seahawks fan. So I bought a ton of Seahawks, different Seahawks fabrics and I sent them to her and I'm like, please do what you can. <laughs> and she did. These are really nice. So, um, I have quite a few of them. And then she also did like a ton of grime guards for me and some art catchers. And so I have the Seahawks. I got it all, um, which I love, but okay. So my first piece is, and I will insert a picture here, but this is the first piece, well, the first whip that I have to show today, and it is a free DMC uh, design, and um, I've gotten quite a bit done. I finished the border, and then one huge of the swirlies. Here's the thing, though. I did not know that there was going to be so much backstitching when I first picked the um, the pattern out. So this is because it's October and Breast Cancer Awareness, and you know, so many of us have uh, fam know people, you know, whether it's family or friends or a friend of a friend or you know whatever. Um, we all know somebody who has been impacted by breast cancer, and so when I was looking for a breast cancer awareness piece to actually stitch because my grandma was diagnosed with breast cancer many, many years ago and unfortunately lost her battle and um, because it spread everywhere. Um, and so I was looking for a piece. And when I saw this one on the DMC website, it's a free pattern. Um, and it says live inspired. There's words that will go down here and it says live inspired. And, but what I didn't notice was at every bit of this border gets backstitched. Every outline of the swirly is the big L that will go in here, everything basically on the piece. And then even some like inside of here, there's some backstitching as well. Oh my lord, there's going to be a lot of backstitching. So, but it's a pretty piece. It's um, DMC colors and then it's stitched on 14 count Ada. And this is a super pale pink Ada that I had bought from my LNS Thread Needle Street. And um, so, yeah, I got that done or started and going to continue. <laughs> And then my second piece is this from the Bah Humbug, um, Sue Hillis, yeah, Sue Hillis Designs. And I am stitching this guy up here. When Sean saw this, he's like, oh, I really like that tree. And I'm like, mm, the Charlie Brown tree. And he's like, yeah, Bah Humbug. And I'm like, that's exactly what it says. And he's like, are you stitching that for me? And I'm like, probably am. But, um... I had found this one, or I'm stitching this one, and I have gotten quite a bit done. So the border is completely done. I had to frog this whole entire border out because I realized when I got up to here, I had miscounted over here and I had seven stitches. No, I had six stitches where I should have only had five. And so it threw this part off and I was like, okay, well maybe I can fudge it. But then, you know, I, cr I couldn't. So I took it all out. Mm. So this is DMC Colors, and it's stitched on a 16 count light mocha, I believe it is. And so, and I put it in my baby Q snap. And um, I typically like to stitch in hand, but I was having some troubles with it. And so I'm not sure why I think because this, the fabric's actually very, very stiff. It's not soft. And so, yeah, so I think that that's 
maybe why I was having some issues. And then my third piece, I pulled this back out. I've been working on this piece for a very long time. I bought this pattern from 123 Stitch along with many other patterns that I have kitted up again, my second hobby, um, but I haven't done. And this is a design works by um, Joan Elliott and it's Welcome Friends, Irish Welcome Friends. And this piece went in timeout because I made a big boo-boo on it and I, um, ooh, let me get my needle out. I have done quite a bit on this piece. I really have, but this here, I did all of this in the wrong color. So I am going to have to take this all out and then redo it in the correct color, which is this over here. And yep, it's a shade off. But the good news is, is I joined a, because I watched Two Martini Stitcher and she was like, oh, I joined all the groups. And so I was like, what groups did you join? And so I joined Enchanted Stitches earlier this last week. And, um, and one of the challenges for this week is to, um, I, I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically uh, a piece that you have to rip out stitches <laughs> and I'm gonna have to rip this out, frog this all out and then redo it. So it's going to count for one of my challenges. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to bring this back out and, and get some more started on it. And so those are the pieces. Oh, and I also started chicken joy, but I left it at Sean's house. Um, so just let me explain really quick. I have a boyfriend who I, we've been together for over three years and we don't live together because um, I, I have um, not fear of commitment, but I have a very chaotic life. Anyway, a story for another day. And so he has a place that is about 40 minutes to an hour away from me, depending on traffic, sometimes longer. And then I have my house here. And, um, and so every weekend or a lot of weekends I spend over there. And um, I try to leave some things over there so I don't have to pack up as much to go, but then I forget what I have and um, and I left my Chicken Joy. So I have started Chicken Joy, which is the free pattern that was on Priscilla's blog um, from the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. The Real, what? The Real Housewives of Cross Stitch, I believe is who they are. I've been watching them for like years, two years at least. So, um, so those are my whips. I'm so excited. I um, am hoping maybe I will get one or two of them done in another two weeks when I see you again. Okay, how about me finish? I need like a little dancing character, dancing hands. I finished, I finished. Um, you guys have no idea how exciting it is for me because <laughs> I start a lot. I'm a serial starter. That's what I am. I am a serial starter in all craft things. I am not so much a good finisher, but I did, I finished. So ooh, let me show you the pattern first, not the pattern. Um, this is cottage garden samplings. I should know what this is. I say it all the time. Um, and it's Halloween sampler. It's so cute and it's finished. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so I did it in the called for colors. I do have a problem though. So it is done. It is done. So I need to um, iron it and, um, and then actually do an FFO on it. But here's my problem. Do you guys see the white in there? Do you? Do you? No. Nope. So I have a ghost right here. There's a ghost. 
And then I have, I don't know what the heck this thing is. I think it's a bone or something. Um, they don't show up. Actually, you see it a little better on camera than you do on the actual fabric. So I'm going to have to take it into my LNS and see what she says. I used the call for colors, but I didn't use the called for fabric and I chose my own fabric. And this is a, I've been calling it 16 count. It's actually 18 count Ada. And it's a mo. it's a, I think it's a mocha. I think it is. It's a light mocha. And um, you can't see the white on here. And so I don't want to iron it until, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to iron it until I can figure out the white. So if you guys have any suggestions, this was weeks. Mm, no, what flosses did I use? Gentle Arts. Yeah, Gentle Arts thread. And it was the, what was it called? Mm, Picket Fence. So either I got a very, very super light picket fence or something, I don't know, but it is, it just doesn't show up. You cannot see it in person. It's super, super light. So, but I'm excited because I have a lot of border around this. I think I'm going to put it in a frame, honestly. Um, and then I'm going to Priscilla slash Christify it, Christy from Jev Girl Stitches love her and um so yeah but i am so excited that this piece is done so so excited <laughs> okay so um what else happened this week well not this week yeah actually it was this week so um i discovered a awesome channel called Stitching with the Sisterlies, Colleen and Cheryl. They are a hoot, like legit a hoot. And um, small story, I always wanted a sister. I got a brother instead. He's all right. I love him. But I really wished I had a sister because I wanted a sister with a relationship like those two have. They're awesome. And, <laughs> and so anyways, they do giveaways at the end of their videos and... So I was watching them and uh, I happened to comment on one of the giveaways that they were doing and it was for this lovely project bag that Colleen made. Yes, Colleen made. <laughs> and it came and it came in this lovely, lovely envelope and it came with the cutest card. Look at this, you guys. Lincoln and Daisy, they're two pup pups. How cute is that? And such a sweet message inside. Thank you, ladies, so, so much. And then it was packaged like this. So I'm gonna tear it open. I wanted you guys to see it because it was just so sweet. So sweet. And it's the very first thing I've ever received. And so sweet so oh my gosh okay so when they showed it on you know on the camera I mean things always look so different right okay you guys I'm telling you right now it's beautiful how gorgeous is this fabric it's like a it's really thick it's plushy oh my gosh this is beautiful this is beautiful Colleen thank you I Yep, Colleen. Thank you so much. Both of you, you and Cheryl are so sweet and I enjoy your videos and always can't wait um, to see, you know, you guys weekly. So this is the outside pattern and then the back that also has a bit of a pattern to it. And then um, the inside, so pretty so pretty and then it has a zipper that has a really cute charm on it and it is indeed well it's like the girl in the moon is it Tinkerbell it might be Tinkerbell it's really cute though 
So thank you both so very much. And believe me, I love watching your videos. I love the relationship that you two have. Your stitching is beautiful. They quilt and they're gorgeous. Like I want a Seahawks one. <laughs> Can I commission that? Yeah. So anyways, um, thank you both so much. That came uh, last week when I was at Sean's. And so it was a happy surprise on my bed that my daughter put on my bed. And so uh, I was excited for that. Okay, now the other thing is I have a lot of mail, you guys. I, I, I went binge shopping because I went binge shopping and I have a lot. Where is Mr. Oh, right here. Okay, so I believe her name, let me get it right. She's on Etsy, yep. Jen's Stitchin' Niche on Etsy. I went to town. I did not one, not two, but three orders from her. I did one order early in the morning. I think I did the second order the same day, later in the afternoon, and then maybe the next day or the day after that, I made the third order. Because I was like, ooh, you know when you see a pattern and you're like, and you think about it and you're like, mm, I really should get that. I really should get that. So I did. And I'm happy about it. I'm very happy about it. So let me show you what I got. One of the, I mean, I'm excited about all of them, but one of them I'm specifically excited about because I am. Okay, let me get them all out. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so excited about this, you guys. Okay, so let's get it all. Ooh, ooh, there's more. Oh, cute. That's sweet. Thank you, Jen. She included some washi tape that has witchy stitchy witches on it. How cute is that? I love witches. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I do. Okay, so the very first order I did, this is why I went on there, um, raise the roof designs. So I wanted this um, pattern here, which is Vlad's Vosh Day. <laughs> Vlad's Vosh Day. I love it. Um, and so I had to go and get this pattern because I like all things Halloween. Fall is my favorite time of year and I love Halloween. Well, then I saw Witchy Washy. So yes, I had to get that also from Raise the Roof. Yep, raise the roof designs. And then I saw turkey dressing. <laughs> and I don't have anything fall stitched or even really big fall patterns. I have a lot of Christmas. I have a lot of Halloween. I have a lot of like random ones, but I had nothing fall. So when I saw that, I was like, that's really cute. So I got that one. And then of course, Santa Claus. So I had to buy all four of those and I'm really excited about it because that's a lot of stitching for me to do. Yep. And then um, I think I had to get to like a certain amount in order to get free shipping because <laughs> here's the other thing, I'm cheap. I don't wanna pay for shipping if I don't have to. So I'll just order something else to get myself up to the shipping. Even if it cost me more than what it was gonna be in shipping in my head, I'm not paying for shipping. <laughs> so uh, I got some of this um, Rick, uh, no, uh, they're pom pom-poms, I guess. And this one's called Barn Door, is it? Barn Door, I don't know, something like that. Anyways, um, super cute. So that was order number one. And then, um, I'm just gonna put these together because it was order two and three. This is two and three. So then, um, I also, because, you know, part of my family is Irish, part English, part Scottish, we're just a real wild mix of stuff.
stuff. Um, I saw this Pineberry Lane Little Shamrocks. And again, I have nothing shamrocky. I have nothing, I mean, other than, you know, my sampler or the Welcome Friends. But it doesn't have, like, shamrocks or anything in it. And so I was like, oh, so I found that. And I was like, yeah, that's real cute. So, um, and it's in DMC Threads. So that's awesome. So I got that pattern. Seriously, I have a lot of patterns, you guys. <laughs> and then I got, oh, good thing, because I saw this on Stash Unload and I was going to buy it again. <laughs> problems um this is witches night out by brenda gervais or gervais is it gervais um and so i saw that pattern and i had to get that and then um i bought a bunch of prairie schooler let's get them all let's make sure i didn't get any you know I mean, I wouldn't put it past me that I bought duplicates because, again, like I said, that's one of the four dogs we own. <laughs> uh, the Prairie Schooler. This is Mary Had a Little Lamb. Uh, knock, knock. All my Halloween ones. I'm going to be very busy next year, you guys. Night, night flight. And Miss Fortune. I love this one. I love this one. So, um, love those. And then I got Tis Halloween Blackbird Designs, the 13 stockings and projects to stitch. And um, I probably won't do them as stockings because I don't know how to sew. That's a story for another day. But I got this uh, black, yeah, Blackbird Designs. And I was like, oh, maybe I can do something about that. I mean, look at, look at candy corn. How cute is that? How cute is that? And this one on here that says trick or treat. Oh, I'm so, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, my word. Oh, look at the jack o lantern Mm, look at the jack-o'-lantern. Okay, I'm going to have to learn how to finish so that I can do this. Funny, also, I said to Sean the other day, I think I'm going to buy a sewing machine. Don't get excited. There's a whole story that goes along with that as well. Um, but I sold my sewing machine that I had bought a couple of years ago, and it was still new in the box. I sold it on offer up. The lady was thrilled who came to get it. And um, now I'm gonna like rebuy one. But first I'm gonna go to a sewing machine store and hopefully get a very basic, hey, here's how you work the sewing machine. Here's how to do, because it's gonna be basic. And I, I, need, I need right from word go because home ec scarred me forever. Seventh grade home ec teacher wrecked my life. <laughs> so yeah um okay and then the other pattern that I got from Pineberry Lane is a flancy fancy blanket blanket fancy blanket October ride super cute see look at this I got a ton of Halloween patterns really I am going to be stitch mania I'm gonna be a busy girl and then, um, because, you know, it's next holiday around the corner after Thanksgiving is Christmas, and I have not stitched a whole lot of Christmas things at all. In fact, really, that one that I'm doing, um, the Bahambug Santa hat, um, it's probably the first one I've actually, I don't know, I may have to go through my patterns and see. Again, I serial start a lot of things, and then I forget what I've done. Anyway. This is Ho Ho Ho, yep, Ho Ho Ho, and it's also a Brenda Gervais, and um, so cute. Love it, love it, love it. So, that I believe is all, all 
that I bought from Jen's Stitch and Niche on Etsy. And then I found another seller on Etsy. Yes, I did. Who is this one? Um, oh, I don't know who this was. If I figure it out by the time that I put this video up. Oh, here we go. Magic Hour. Oh, she's from Canada. This is the Canadian gal. Yeah, Niagara Falls, Ontario, which is actually where a huge portion of my family is from. So, um, so she is Magic Hour on Etsy. And, um, I was looking, I was looking for a pattern and, um, cute little card came with it. And this was the pattern that I found, Waxing Moon Designs Dem Bones. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm looking for some unicorns. I've got a couple of unicorns and I'm, I know I'm going to, it's going to be a struggle to find them. I'm sure I've been looking for probably a good eight, nine months now for these patterns, but they're the Prairie Moon patterns. And I'm looking for the Crypt Club. Martini Witches and Mary Xmas. I am desperately searching like everywhere for these patterns. And um, I know they're going to be a unicorn. It's going to be really hard to find. I'm holding out hope that somebody has them in a stash somewhere and they really, really, really want to get rid of them. <laughs> and I really, really, really would like them. But in the meantime, I have a lot of Halloween, cool Halloween patterns to go to. And um, yeah, so that was, that was exciting. I, I like that. Okay, the other thing is, is that um, I am a project bag lover. I, again, I can't sew, so I admire people who do. And I would just be thrilled to be able to sew pillows. I don't think I'm ever going to get past my comfort zone of that. But that's really what I want to do is, is do something with pillows. And so I can put them in my dough bowl because I have one of those. I just don't have the capabilities to sew. So anyways, I love project bags. And um, I started with the the project bags from, who was this? Jen's Stitch and Necessities. And I think she's on Facebook. I'll link that down below. But I was watching Pam and Steph. Just keep stitching. I've been watching them also for a long, long time, like when they first started. And um, they enable, they're huge enablers. And uh, they were talking about the fabric bag of the month from So Much, So Much to Love. Yep, So Much to Love. And so I had to hop my happy self over there. And so far, I have gotten two bags of the month, um, last month and this month. And this month, I haven't even looked at it, guys, yet. So you're getting to see me and you together seeing it. I know everybody else is probably on, on bag theirs, but um, mine's been sitting for a while. <laughs> two weeks, to be exact. Um, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's the Halloween bag. It's Halloween. And I am all things Halloween. So it's um, black and white polka dot fabric up here. And this really cool bottles like Cat's Eyes, Dragon Breath, Vampire Fangs, uh, Dragon oh, Dried Magic, Ghost Tears. <laughs> I love it. All of these bottles have different sayings. Um, so much to love. I think it's Karen. Hope it's Karen. Um, she makes beautiful bags. Um, they're padded. There's a little bit of padding. Oh my God, look at the inside fabric, you guys. How cute is that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so pleased with my bag of the month. I bought, I did this for myself and um, it's just a little bit of happy mail. So anyways, when Pam and Steph were undoing these, you know, they were talking about how great the bags were, but when you are part of the Fabric of the Month Club, you also receive a little bag of goodies that go along with your bag. And so let's find out what the bag of goodies is. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm just 
I'm opening this for the first time with you guys. So, oh, how cool is that? Okay, so, oh, there's a pattern. Oh, there's a pattern. Um, Amy Brecken, Brucken did a pattern for, um, how cute is, okay, just hang on here. <laughs> how cute is that? Okay, that's adorbs. Um, I'm excited about that. Yes, I am. Okay, so pattern, really cute pattern. And, yep, and a poison bottle scissor fob thread keeper made for them by Retromatic Fripperies. And it's super cute, you guys, look. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a scissor fob, scissor fob. And then it's got little holes for your threads. Oh my God, I'm still using this. Yes, I am. This is super cute. So super cute. And the um, bottle says Ideal Poisons, price 25 cents, Veil Bros, Philadelphia. How cute is that? Oh my God, the detail on this thing is really super cute. So it's a wooden laser cut probably yeah oh my gosh that is so 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 cute so cute oh my gosh you guys i am so thrilled with um my bags of the month um yeah i can't even and then she includes a little goodie so halloween m m's I like me chocolate, yes I do. And then some maple apple cider herbal tea, stash herbal tea. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be trying that. I like maple, I like apple, and I like cider. And I also like tea. In the winter only. I know, that seems weird, right? But that's when I start drinking copious amounts of tea. So thank you so, so much, Karen. Um, I, I love, I love receiving my bags and, um, getting surprised with the goodies. So yes, yeah, so that's what I have. And then, um, I'm going to do a couple of shout outs. I've been binge washing you guys a ton of floss tube and I'm trying to see what time. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've been watching a ton of floss tube. So I mentioned, um, Lady Robin S and two martini stitches, stitcher, sorry, two martini stitcher and stitching with the sisterlies and Java girl stitches. Everybody knows who Miss Christie is. And, um, the two, uh, three, I have three. So Anna, you, um, and again, I'll link everybody down below, but I started watching her. She's got four uh, videos up right now and she is an avid um, hiker and, and she stitches, you know, on her off time. And um, she's got wonderful, wonderful stitching and um, really pretty. So, uh, and she's adorable. She's just adorable. So cute. Um, the other one is Sherry Price. Oh, this girl is talented. She sews. She sews all of her daughter's outfits, her dresses, like when she was little and stuff. And she smocks. Yeah. And she's making her own project bags and they're so pretty. So pretty. I am so envious of people. And she made a comment on um, one of my... Uh, videos because you know I was like oh I would really like to be able to sew and put things into like a pillow or whatever and she gave me some suggestions on who to go and watch and said you know it might be really easy <laughs> Sherry I don't think you know me 
<laughs> what seems easy is real hard to me sometimes. So anyway, um, she is lovely. I think she's got nine videos up. She just did one the other day. And um, really, I, I love watching her. She's got a cute little accent. She's adorable. And then um, the last one is the Academic Stitcher. She also quilts and um, and cross stitches and so lovely. Like, I don't know where you guys find the time and the talent. I mean, it is awesome. I barely can keep up with what I got going on and it's not much. So, um, yeah, I'm the, all really lovely channels um, and I've been super excited to watch everybody um, and see the stitching and, and the excitement. And I just, I love this community. I do. And, um, you know, I'm hoping that I get more stitchy friends and some help along the way with my stitching issues and, um, and, you know, just finding some friendships in stitchy land because I just don't have many. And, um, I would love to commiserate with somebody when I have to frog out a whole section is it just not disgusting that it takes like 14 hours to stitch something and then it takes like four minutes to rip it out I need somebody to commiserate with me anyway all right so having said all that and if you have stuck around I have a giveaway I have a giveaway because I made it to over a hundred subscribers I was shocked I'm absolutely shocked um it's just a little stitching channel that, you know, I'm trying to get out there. And, um, and so anyways, I thought and thought and thought about what I was going to do for a giveaway. And finally I stumbled upon this. So I was never a needle minder person. I, I didn't know why it was needed <laughs> and um and I thought that you know all these people collecting these beautiful needle but they're beautiful but I'm like eh, hey, why like okay I understand why after I bought my first one because you know I had to join the crowd I'm, I'm a joiner totally a joiner and so I bought my very first one and I'm like why in the world was I like so far behind? Of course I need me needle minders. So one of the needle minder people who are super popular is Clay by Kim. And she holds sales very, 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 very randomly. And it is very, 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 hard to get one of her needle minders because as soon as she announces a sale, I'm telling you, you better have the fastest fingers in the world to get one because um, they are gone. And then she randomly, as she finishes things, will put them up um, on her Etsy shop. And again, you have to be real quick. I get the notifications well after they have been on there. So I luck out every once in a while. So I have a few of her clays, clay needle minders. I actually have a couple of her fairy doors too, and they're beautiful. Um, but I actually get most of hers in the acrylic needle minder because that seems to be what, um, the clays are what goes fast, like uber fast. So I thought that because it is so hard to get one of her needle minders that I got lucky and I was on one day and she had two acrylic needle minders and I got them both. And um, so the one that I am going to do as a giveaway is I have the exact same one, is this one here, it's Pansy Doors, it's Pansy Fairy Door. It is an acrylic needle minder, it is not a clay. It is acrylic needle minder. And I have mine, where is mine? I think it's on this one here. Yeah, it is on my breast cancer piece. So that's mine there. And then this is the one that I'm going to do for my giveaway. So if you would like to win this or have a chance to win this, here are the rules. Um, please don't mention giveaway. 
uh, please be a subscriber. Um, uh, only one comment. Um, how about, what is my question going to be? What is my question going to be? Um, do you own any needle minders? If so, how many? And if not, would you like one? And, um, and then I am going to do like a random name picker in two weeks in my next video. So again, if you are interested, it is a clay by Kim acrylic needle minder and it will be this one here the pansy door fairy door super cute and um and i love like she puts her backing ugh, quality you guys like i've had mine on my my stuff and thrown them in my bag and i've had no problems like honestly no problems so if you got this far <laughs> thank you <laughs> And um, I'm thrilled. And um, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed. And um, I hope I get to meet some more of you. And I'm looking forward to the stitching meetup. You guys have no idea how much I'm looking forward to it. I will even miss a Seahawks game for it. That's how important cross stitch is to me. I'm going to pick it over football, mainly because I can tape football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and the rest of your week. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.